when you are farming in a way where birds and mother nature is present, it's a lot easier because you are being helped to deal with some of the pests that otherwise you will have to rely on chemicals to eliminate. In our research, we're really looking for opportunities that can benefit both biodiversity conservation and agricultural production, because that's the golden ticket. So the benefits that I get are definitely greater than the issues that I'm facing having the birds around. So we didn't know if by having more habitat, we might see more birds and also more crop damage. And it was really surprising to see that having that semi-natural habitat around the farms actually reduced bird damage to strawberries. 3% of strawberries were damaged by birds, whereas more than a third of berries we found had insect damage. So birds coming into your crop area to eat whatever you are producing, it's very minimal, but the benefits are greater because I know they come in and they eat all these little worms, they eat all these little insects that are actually, if birds weren't around, you would be facing a big pest problem. So if you're having a pest outbreak, you want birds there, you want bats there, because often they are going to choose the prey items that are most abundant. So if that happens to be a pest insect, then you're really glad that you've been conserving wildlife and that you have bats and birds that are there sort of waiting, if they're generalists, to come and help suppress those populations and avoid some crop damage. One of the things that I was most interested in understanding was whether or not adding habitat for wildlife has any impact on food safety risks. And what we found was that having natural habitat in the landscape was associated with lower probabilities of birds vectoring pathogens. So in this sense, conserving habitat can help to mitigate those food safety risks. Steps that growers could take to support birds on their farms and benefit from their pest control services would be to allow birds to nest if they're not right by a packing shed and allow them to continue to live and reproduce on your farms. Another thing would be to maintain habitat. Maybe you already are near a natural area or you have non-crop vegetation on your farm that you can manage and is not causing a problem, leave it there. That's providing habitat. These small strips or patches of natural vegetation do add up. Adding more crop types is also another way to support healthy insect populations and healthy wildlife populations. Strawberries, green beans, blueberries, peppers, Brussels sprouts, radishes, cilantro. That's what you want. You want diversity. It's important for me to work at the intersection of conservation and agriculture because I don't think they're that different. When Danny and Elisa came out and they've done the research, it just reassured me that the way we're farming and the way we are coexisting with birds and mother nature, it's definitely one of the right ways to do it. A lot of farmers will tell you that their farms are healthy, living ecosystems because of the diversity of life that's there. They were here, and this is their habitat, before we came. We have to learn how to, how to move in. <laughs>